Hey guys, what's up? How's it going? Welcome back to another video. So I've had a few requests to talk about this. Today we are talking about block strap and I guess any other kind of strap application, fish strap as well, because we've got some bad news. Um, I'm just going to get straight into this one. Shout out to Flame for sending me this screenshot. You can see this is from Green Matt, the current block strap owner. He said Roblox is officially removing support for local fast flags. The chances are if you have block strap or a program like it, you definitely know what fast flags are if you've edited your FPS before Roblox brought out the official FPS update, then yeah, again, you probably know what fast flags are. It's a way of editing stuff in the client without actually having to use like some dodgy exploit software. So you could like improve the lighting, you could change your FPS. There was loads of different stuff you could do. It's kind of like a way of messing about with the Roblox settings, but it only changes for you like locally. Anyway, Matt says upcoming security changes to the Roblox game engine will completely disable the local fast flags override feature. This feature was used by Blockstrap to a apply custom fast flags and the presets that will be present in the menu. The next block strap update will completely remove all unsupported presets and the fast flag editor for clients. This announcement serves to inform people in advance for these breaking changes. Thank you for understanding. Now, yeah, this straight away is really concerning. I believe this next block strap update hasn't actually been released yet, so I don't quite know what's been removed. Maybe I'll have a quick check, but considering how many fast flags there are and I'm guessing probably like what, all of them are getting removed. The only thing which I can think of that aren't fast flags are multi-instance launching and maybe some of like the customizable settings where you can change like the uh, icon and the game load up box thing, whatever the heck it's called, I don't know. However, guys, if we go and launch Blockstrap, I wanna show you how much damage this is potentially going to do. So if we just go into configure settings. So inside of Blockstrap, right, if you were to go over to the engine settings, I'm pretty sure nearly everything in here if not just everything is going to be disabled because if you were to click on the question mark next to any of these features like uh, let's just do frame limit because everybody knows how fps works if we go and click on this question mark it's going to show us what fast flag it uses and again if roblox is making it so you can't enable fast flags anymore and you can't customize your roblox settings locally well yeah stuff like this is just well going to be unavailable to use i guess frame limit wouldn't matter so much unless you care about playing roblox at like a thousand fps or whatever if your pc has good enough right for me i don't even get that frame rate so i don't even care but yeah that's just an example if you scroll through this and just see like a lot of stuff like escape menu version stuff like this will be um you know disabled gui hiding i know some youtubers use that to get like cool shots for their videos and stuff so again that will probably be unavailable yeah this is not gonna be good there is a lot of stuff we're losing as i said i don't know if blockstrap is updated just yet maybe we should have a look so the last version was oh 28th of march yeah exactly a month ago so it hasn't updated yet i'm still going to upload this video anyway because you know we're pretty sure a lot of stuff is getting removed that really sucks i had a video idea as well where i was going to try and play roblox on like a potato computer that i got for free i did a video about that like years ago back in 2020 or something but i thought i'd do a new one using the block strap settings i don't even know if i'll be able to do that anymore which is a shame yeah look at this even blocks the news posted about it in an upcoming client release roblox will remove the ability to edit fast flags locally via programs such as block strap so yeah pretty much guys this sucks massive l update so you may be wondering why is roblox suddenly doing this well i believe it's because of this forum post from this guy i don't know if this is his youtube video i mean i guess it is but what he's trying to like say in this video is people are using block strap and um, other applications which can edit fast flags to apparently hack inside of roblox games and i haven't watched this video just yet but i can already tell what it is pretty much what they're going to be doing is just messing up the settings and fiddling with it to make Roblox avatars like just flip out and fly around the map everywhere. I'll tell you what, we'll have a quick look. Here you go, legitimately hacking in Roblox using fast flags, no exploits. I'm just gonna mute it in case it's got audio, but I can just like tell this is not hacking. I bet guys, the character's gonna be like clipping through walls, like spazzing out everywhere. Yeah, see? I would not consider this hacking because this is like unusable. I mean, for sure you can like troll a little bit in games and fly around the map, but you can't control it. It's kind of pointless. This guy's not going to be able to get like extra kills or complete obbies easier or whatever. It's just going to be your character like bouncing around like a ragdoll and just flying everywhere. The reason why you don't get many people doing this is because, well, there's nothing to gain from it. For sure, it might be interesting for a few minutes. You're not going to be able to like get points and things like that. So yeah, there you go. Um, I guess people are probably going to be mad at this video. It's not this guy's fault, by the way. I just want to make that clear. 
this video is like well over a year old. I guess he just uploaded it as something interesting, which is fair enough. I was going to do a video on uh, this myself at some stage. I just never got around to doing it. And um, because it's kind of useless, really, it's just one of those things which is funny. Like there aren't really like many uses behind it. It's just too glitchy. Yeah, so you can see here some Arsenal gameplay. Look at that. He doesn't even get one kill. He just flies out the map. Well, that's a good exploit, isn't it? A hack where you just constantly die. Okay, I guess on this obby, that's pretty cool. But still, I just can't imagine like people really using this for hacking, right? They're just going to use some dodgy Android app with exploits installed. Oh, so apparently the stuff that's shown in this video has been patched already. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, as I said, just like a funny glitch type thing. I can see people in the comments already getting angry at him. I think people believe this post is new because it says April 24th, but that's actually the year. Like it's 2024. This was exactly an entire year ago. People are still commenting on this thing. Like if you go to 14 hours ago, there's people replying and they're getting annoyed it was being removed. I did see something really strange though. If you go back up to the top, you've got like admin replies here and they're saying it's going to be like removed soon and stuff like that, which I thought was kind of strange. I think BitDancer replied. Yeah, there you go. So this was over a year ago. I mean, I guess the stuff here did get patched, right? The fast flags, which he was using in his video did get fixed, but still that's just annoying. They've decided to remove all of them. I mean, I guess we have got to wait for the Blockstrap update to release and see what actually did get removed. But yeah, this sucks, man, because of people like uh, glitching around the map and just doing stupid stuff. That means we are losing all of those awesome customizable options. So yeah, I guess that's pretty much it for this video. Don't hate on any of the people doing videos on the glitches and stuff because I understand, right? If you find something interesting, you want to make a YouTube video about it. This is Roblox's fault for not being able to properly sort out their website and game for that matter. But yeah, that's it for today. So see ya.